What is the difference between near infrared and FTIR? Okay, so I mean, fundamentally, of course, as in the name, they both use infrared light to analyze the sample. So they do actually analyze quite separate parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, and as such, the types of bonds that they actually uh, measure and respond to that activation is quite different. So uh, they can be used together, actually, in parallel, if you want quite a comprehensive overview. Um, so SWERB, or the near-infrared region, uh, really primarily looks, as you mentioned before, about your uh, sulfate bonds, carbonate bonds, bound water, hydroxide groups, that sort of thing. Uh, whereas FTIR is a little bit more comprehensive, you can start picking up things such as uh, your silicon bonds. One of the other big differences that can come into play is the ability to quantify the data as well. So FTIR is fantastic for quantification. Uh, your peak heights are directly proportional to the concentrations that are actually in the sample. Near infrared quantification is a little bit more limited. It's fantastic for trend analysis, so you could not only just abundance, but you can actually use it for trend analysis with, with regards to composition uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, th there are cases where you can use things such as partial least, least squared algorithms to look at uh, quantified trends, but fundamentally are more limited to trend analysis rather than uh, absolute quantification. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Naomi. And I'm Sophie. And we'll see you next time.